Welcome back to Mini Tarot and Divination University, where we take a deeper look into the different cards of the tarot and also different oracle decks, such as the Lenormand. I highly encourage you to take notes. I have provided a link in the bio to download these free note pages. Use at your leisure. Thank you so much for attending and watching these videos. Like and comment. I really appreciate it. Let's dive in. We continue our fool's journey with the High Priestess. Lots and lots of moon energy here. The moon in her head, the moon in her feet. She's in a temple. So with these two pillars, holding the Torah, the veil behind her, guarding the, or separating rather, the subconscious from the conscious, which is actually also what these two pillars represent. The mysterious unconscious and the knowing of the consciousness. These two pillars represent Boaz and Jachin, which are the two pillar names that are found in the Old Testament of the temple. Lots and lots of duality here between these two pillars, as as you can see, we cannot have one without the other, as the different colors of the uh, symbols match the opposite of the pillar. Through the High Priestess, we gain insight into our deepest self, our deepest knowing. Uh, lots and lots of psychic abilities, third eye activation in this as well. Beyond the Veil, we have Water. It's harder to tell in this card, and other some other decks have a little bit more clear definition that there's water, but that is our subconscious. It's vast, it's deep, it's amazing, and we can connect to it. This High Priestess lives in both worlds. The Divine Mysterious Unknown and the Conscious Knowing of the Physical World. As we can see here, and the Lightseer's deck, third eye activation, lots of moon energy as well. Everything coming from source, the divine gift. And in the divine tarot, we have a Turkish folklore here, representing a woman. Also lots of moon energy, third eye activation. She outwitted a king. Very, very smart. She didn't die. Very good. And from the Angel Tarot, we have Yelahia, God the Eternal Lasting, representing the High Priestess. The High Priestess comes with a warning to not stay in our subconscious too long. It's great to look within, but we also need to share our gifts with the world. Love you. Hariyom.